Amber herself was arrested for domestic violence uh, a few years back with her uh, with her partner. Somehow this thing got completely buried. You have Hollywood royalty washing the dirtiest of laundry in public. It's one of two things, right? Either Johnny Depp really girlfriend or his girlfriend is lying. I trust him very well. So if he says that, that she was manipulating him and that she was going to, she had said and he had, was worried that she was going to do this. Yeah, Johnny Depp is being blackmailed by Amber Heard. I gotta tell you, Choked this looks her. like really bad for him. This does not look good on Amber Heard in any kind of way. This is where it gets really, really disturbing. Amber had not donated the $7 million she received in the divorce settlement to charity like she said she would back in 2016. There was a divorce settlement, you got $7 million. But what did you do with that money? $7 million in total was donated. Split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. <laughs> That's weird, I believe me too. <laughs> to the people who have been such great support, I thank you. I just wanted to move on with my life. I'm strong, smart, I'm not a victim. The never-ending drama between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has been a roller coaster ride for everyone, and it seems that the drama gets juicier by the day. What happened during the one year that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were married remains a mystery to most people. When they first got married, everyone thought they were couple goals, but what nobody knew was that things were not as smooth as they made us all think. But like most other Hollywood couples, the dirt finally came out. The couple went through a messy divorce, which led to an even messier legal battle that has taken years to end. And with all the confusion as to who was actually abusive in their marriage, fans were not sure who to believe. But sources have reported that we might actually get a first-hand information of what actually went down in their marriage through an upcoming documentary that is set to air on Discovery+. Plus. That's right. We are finally going to get all the tea, so stick around as I tell you more about this documentary. Discovery Plus announced on the 19th of November that there is an upcoming documentary on the 2017 divorce of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, which is still playing out in the court of public opinion. The documentary, which is titled Johnny vs. Amber, will take viewers inside the dissolution of the short-lived relationship, which lasted from 2015 to 2017. The story began when in in 2016, Heard filed for divorce from Depp. From Heard securing a restraining order against Depp through leaked evidence of alleged domestic violence, the situation escalated, and the Pirates of the Caribbean actor even sued The Sun for portraying him as a WB. Discovery said in a statement that Johnny vs. Amber evaluates what initiated the end of the marriage and how it tipped into the celebrity court case of the decade. Johnny's film will portray that he found himself married to a Machiavellian liar who would stop at nothing to protect her image, while Amber's film explores how she married the man of her dreams only to see him turn into a violent drug-fueled monster, the statement said. The documentary will dive into the deeply troubled marriage from each fractured side. Through the tapes, home videos, and text messages shown in court, these films give viewers a rare and important insight into a marriage that went tragically wrong and to better understand the hugely important issue of domestic violence, said Nick Hornby, co-CEO at Optimin, the company producing the documentary. The episodes will allow the audience to hear from the lawyers involved on both sides, along with testimony from those close to the pair. It will also examine extensive footage and audio recordings filmed by the couple themselves, but neither is said in the statement to be involved directly with the project. In the release, Clara Laycock, head of entertainment at Discover UK, noted that the premiere of this series will provide an in-depth insight into the epic battle that powered hashtag justice for Johnny Depp and hashtag I stand with you Amber Heard fan campaigns and the very public high court case that gripped us all. Optimin has done a fantastic job turning this multi-layered story into something both engrossing and horrifying. This documentary comes at a time when fans are more eager than ever to see the truth about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's relationship come to life. Life. Ms. Heard should be shaking in her boots. She is doing everything she can to 
avoid going to trial in April. Why is that? Because she knows she's guilty of domestic violence herself. She prejured herself in the UK civil court case. She's doctored photos of her injuries and lied about giving money to a children's hospital. I hope this documentary is just and really highlights who abused who and who is a narcissistic sociopath," one fan commented. Another fan called out the media for defending Amber and for her unfair treatment towards Depp saying, The doc should really be called Johnny vs. the media. The man has put his everything into clearing his name and exposed the unjust treatment of him in the process. Other fans expressed their displeasure towards Discovery Plus for taking advantage of a situation in an attempt to make money. Disgusting how domestic violence is made into entertainment by those who want to profit from it. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp, one fan wrote. Another fan commented, Another opportunity for Amber to get more mainstream publicity and spew her lies about Johnny. We don't need a docuseries when the real-life drama is still playing out for us until VA trial 2022, when Johnny is vindicated, fingers crossed. At this point, it is pretty much clear that the fans do not want the docuseries to air since they were conceived that Amber will continue lying about what actually happened in their marriage. Well, they do have a right to be concerned since we all know that this isn't the first time Amber has lied to the world. Amber has told several lies concerning her relationship with Johnny. Her first lie was when she filed for divorce papers. Right after she filed for the divorce, she noted the reason for the divorce was that she was abused by Johnny Depp. But according to all the evidence that has been released so far, it is clear that she was the abusive one. Amber also lied using the LAPD. She made claims that she called the LAPD about Johnny's attacks, yet a rep from the police department noted that they had no record of that. She also lied in the Washington Post when she wrote an op-ed in which she stated that she was abused in a key relationship of hers. She did not mention any particular name, but it was clear as day to everyone that she was talking about Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp was furious about this and not only denied the accusations, but also filed a defamation suit against her for the sum of $50 million. As if that is not enough, Amber is also being investigated by an FBI-backed probe over her potential pre-jury for a 2015 incident, an investigation that could could lead to her losing her acting career. According to a new report, the Aquaman actress is being probed by Australian officials with the support of the FBI as they track down witnesses in the United States of America. Back in 2015, Hurt faced controversy when she brought her two dogs, Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo, into Australia without submitting the required paperwork for the correct entry into the country. Hurt was charged with two counts of illegal importation contrary to the quarantine act and one count of producing a false document, but it was not specified what document that was. Blaming her misstep on a lack of sleep and then issuing an apology, Heard avoided any biosecurity charges and prison time that she could have faced. She and Depp had been in Australia while he filmed the next Pirates of the Caribbean installment when reports surfaced that they were keeping dogs that had been improperly imported. Australia, which is known for strict animal, food stuff, and agricultural import policies, would have required Heard and Depp to begin the process more than six months prior to their arrival, including the making of multiple visits to a veterinarian in the U.S. and a 30-day stay for Pistol and Boo in a quarantine center in Australia. Australian Agricultural Minister Barnabé Joyce famously issued Depp and Heard an ultimatum, remove the dogs from the country or surrender them for euthanasia. If we start letting movie stars, even though they've been the sexiest man alive twice, to come into our nation and break the laws, then why why don't we just break the laws for everybody?" he said on ABC at the time. Well, it's good to see that the court case between Amber and Johnny is finally moving forward and that the law is finally looking into the actual culprit. However, many fans believe that the docuseries might lean more towards Amber's side, but only time will tell. Meanwhile, what do you think about this upcoming docuseries? Is there a chance that it might air both sides of the story truthfully, or is it just another money-making scheme by the media? Let us know in the comments section below, and as always, thanks for watching.